Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that I think is relevant to what is going on in the world right now. And with so much stuff happening around us and within the media, I think the energy levels are changing and I'm noticing that a lot of people are becoming more anxious and they're becoming more uneasy about all of the unknown factors in our world that kind of affect them day to day. So a big topic that I wanted to focus on today is anxiety when we are constantly listening to world events and the news as well as people talking about world events and the news and all of these things that are going on sometimes in our own backyard and sometimes far away from us but with the emergence in the last kind of 50 years or more of TV and the media, these events being much more known about right away. I wanted to kind of talk about how technology and specifically the media and news are increasing anxiety levels. Sometimes this is a good thing and it's a natural response to feelings of threat but it's very different to before we had TV or this access to social media and this instant amounts of information from all over the world. We used to only know really what was going on around us. We had newspapers that kind of talked a bit about world events, but we weren't seeing clips of them. We weren't immersed in them and we weren't feeling like we were in those worlds when those things were happening. So what is happening when we are watching the news is that we are being triggered in our fight, flight, or freeze responses. We're being triggered in our anxiety response in a way that is quite abnormal or at least new to human beings. And so one way to really get away from that is to not be completely fixated on watching the news and scrolling through social media for updates. Of course, we want to know what's going on around us. We want to be aware. But if that's something that is causing you great anxiety and you're seeking that information to kind of comfort yourself or almost as like an addiction um, to needing that information, then I advise just taking a step back from it. Do something mindful in, in those moments that you feel completely threatened and overwhelmed and wanting to check what is happening around the world. Ask yourself, what can you do about it? Even if you know, sometimes there is nothing we can do. And so knowing a lot of information when it's causing us great amounts of anxiety isn't always the best option for us. It doesn't mean that we don't want to be engaged in world events and we don't want to know what's going on around us, but just being aware that those things can act as triggers for you. And we don't want to be constantly triggering ourselves. So make sure that if, if those things are triggers for you, that you're in a good headspace when you're doing things such as watching the news or scrolling through that social media or all of those things that I've mentioned. And if you're not in a good headspace, how do you get there? Well, I have some other videos on mindfulness and I also have my mindfulness guide that you can download at my website, www.jordanburness.com. But some of my suggestions there are to write down the things that are really bothering you, to figure out what your triggers are, to engage in a simple breathing exercise or some mindful eating where you eat a food and you really appreciate what is happening with all of your senses when you're doing that. It might be that you are appreciating what is around you right now and what's happening around you. Especially if you have trauma or a trauma diagnosis, watching world events can remind you of times that you have actually felt threatened or that your life has been threatened. So be aware of that. If you are a veteran or if you are someone who has been in a war zone, watching videos about war and, and stories constantly about war and broadcasts on that could bring back some really terrible sensory memories for you. And it could feel like you're in that place. So... That's my advice today and I just wanted to really briefly touch on how technology is changing the world of mental health and our lives. Another aspect here can be even things like video games or those virtual reality video games that we're playing that are actually changing people's brain structures because our brains are, have been around for thousands and even millions of years. So they have not developed to process and deal with incoming information that is not reality. 
We, when we're playing video games or when we're in these virtual reality video games, we feel like these things are happening and our brain has no way of differentiating that. So there are so many ways that I could get really deep into this topic of how social media is and technology are great for information, but also really increasing symptoms of mental health for people. So just some food for thought today. I hope to see you next week. Thanks.